Hi, I'm Carrie Toth at SomewhereToShare.com. I want to share with you today a game that we play in my class that I learned from Cynthia Hitz uh, at Sonrisa del Campo on Twitter and Palmyra Spanish on uh, her blog. This game is called Marker Partner and it's a really fun review game to play. This year I've made it my mission to try to include something really fun in every class period. Now by including something fun, I don't mean that I'm going to take away from learning time or from reinforcement of whatever we're working on. I mean something that lets them dig into the input to listen to Spanish in context to whatever language we're, you know, you're teaching in your classroom in context but also reinforces it in a really fun way where they sort of forget it's a learning activity and Marker Partner is one of those games. So let me tell you about the setup and about the gameplay in Marker Partner. So no matter what you're doing, if it's a unit that you've purchased on TPT, if it's a unit that you've created, if it's a reading you're doing, if you're reading an authentic piece, all you need are true and false questions. If you've done a reader, you may have reader true or false questions in your teacher's guide. Just pull those out and instead of making it kids sitting quietly, doing true false questions at the end of the period, gamify it and have them play a game of marker partner. It goes so quickly, it is so much fun, the kids get so involved, and I think you'll really like adding this tool to your teacher tool belt. My classroom is set up with chairs only, and because of pandemic precautions, we are actually still sitting three feet apart and our students are fully masked. So I have to be careful to try and keep that social distance if we do any activity that takes more than 15 to 20 minutes. But Marker Partner doesn't take more than 15 to 20 minutes. So they won't be three feet apart, but they might still be about a foot and a half apart. And we just play quick, a quick hit, and then we get out of there and back to our social distance. To play this game, you're going to want to set up your chairs, and it can be student desks, face-to-face -face with a marker board marker on the ground between them. You take your list of true and false questions and you read the first one aloud. Students on both teams, team A to my right, team B to my left, will listen to the question and if it is true, they will reach out and try to grab the marker. If they get the marker, then we count up how many markers their team has and the team with the most markers earns the point. If it's a false question and someone has grabbed a marker, then their team will lose a point. I don't have student desks available in my classroom to show you, but if you push your student desks together and set the marker on the crack where the two tables join, then the marker is still accessible to both students and they can grab it really quickly and you can still play even if you don't have just chairs. Numero uno, en el video, el orangutan aulló oh, oh, al chocolate. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Numero dos, el orangutan rompió una planta. Oh, ¿Cuántas marcadores tiene tu grupo? Levanta los marcadores. So, grupo A tiene uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Y grupo B tiene dos. Un punto. Grupo A recibe un punto. Número uno. El orangután aúlla al chocolate. So that's Marker Partner. I hope that this activity will help you put a little bit more fun into the classroom during this not so fun school year. See you soon.